So of course we have classy fragrances and professional fragrances and office friendly fragrances, but here are 10 fragrances that will make you smell absolutely like a true gentleman. These are very posh, sophisticated, very dressed up and classy. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on these 10 gentlemanly fragrances, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video and I go over these gentlemanly, classy fragrances, absolutely amazing offerings, and I'm so happy to have all of them in my collection, I do wanna start the video by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, it's absolutely free. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up, it would really mean a lot to me and it would greatly assist with the YouTube algorithm. So let's just go ahead and dive into the list and the first fragrance that I'm gonna mention is one that that I directly worked on. So there is a bias there, but I love this fragrance and it's absolutely amazing. The perfumer for this one is Bertrand du Chafour and by Navitus Parfum, this one is called Lautus. Now this fragrance, the name actually translates to chic or elegant. And this is a fragrance that has lavender, vanilla absolute, and a spice called Cascarilla. It's such a unique fragrance. I love the way that it smells. And it just smells very well-dressed, very well-groomed, very urbane and chic and sophisticated. I can't sing enough praise about it. Of course, we also have one that I recently reviewed, even though I've had this bottle for a month and I've had a sample of it for many months since like November of last year. This one by Amouage is called Search. This has a lot of really, really bright citrus in the opening. The citrus always adds that refined quality, I find, to fragrances, but it also has a touch of smoke in here to make it really interesting. So if you're looking for something a little bit darker, I would definitely go with Search. The longevity on it is also incredible. We also have Guerlain's Vetiver. Now, of course, Raja Parfum has a fragrance called Vetiver. We also have Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. That fragrance is amazing as well. Here we actually have the old presentation. The new presentation is a bit more elongated. I don't know if it's been reformulated or what, but I truly love this bottle. The dark earthiness of the Vetiver, very resolute and long lasting, super classy. And we're taking more of an old school approach with this one, I would say. We actually have a couple of designer fragrances in this list. We also have a classic, this one goes back to 1984, Versace Lum. This fragrance is leather and lemon, a carnation, oak moss. This is a green fragrance. And let's face it, whenever we think of these classy, gentlemanly fragrances, we're always thinking of notes like oak moss, lavender, cypress, fir balsam, vetiver, patchouli even. And I feel like Versace Lum is an amazing oak moss based fragrance. Of course, we have a lavender based fragrance that I truly love. This one is Gravitas by Norton and Wilson, a really nice, classy, elegant, powdery lavender. If you're a fan of lavender, you want something with high quality ingredients. Gravitas is a fragrance that I've reviewed. I featured in a number of lists so far. This one is absolutely amazing. Now we have a fragrance by Rodrigo Flores Rue. He's an amazing perfumer. He's actually composed this fragrance by House of Siage and it's called The Formal. This fragrance has violet and a bunch of spices. I think even coriander's in here. The violet leaf ingredient is super smooth, very tastefully used, just the right concentration, right balance of ingredients. This one is phenomenal. Of course, we also have one of the highest quality oak moss fragrances that I have in my collection. This one by Rogue Perfumery is called Mousse Illumine. This house can do no wrong <laughs> in my eyes. I have Rostracto, I have Vetfleur, I have Loma Lacroix. I have so many of their offerings and this one is phenomenal. If you're looking for that pre-formulation oak moss, right, with the atronol and the chloroatronol and all these ingredients that have been kind of banned by the IFRA, this is high quality stuff and I really, really love this fragrance. It's so wonderfully done and the quality of the oak moss is just top notch. Of course, I also love this next fragrance. I was actually wearing this the day that my daughter was born and I thought to myself, what is a scent I think would be indicative of just being a father, being a true gentleman, being a responsible adult. 
It's none other than 1725 by Histoire de Parfum. This fragrance has the vanilla, has the lavender, also has a touch of woods and almond in the base that makes it really unique. I love this stuff. I had a small bottle and then I upgraded to the large one because I needed that stuff in my life, you know? The next fragrance, I know I mentioned Raja Parfum and there's, gosh, so many I could have included in this list. A lot of them smell very gentlemanly. Diaghilev, Harrod, Apex, uh, even Oligarch, Loscar. So many are amazing. The one that I decided to feature is actually the brighter, more citrusy version of Search by Amouage. This one came out first, it's Scandal. Now Scandal is phenomenal. Not as spicy as Danger. This one has more citrus. You have the lemon, the neroli, the bergamot. It has a really bright opening, but it also has some of these woods that kind of secure the longevity and the dry down. It's a little musky. Some people say it has like an animalic component in there. I totally get that, but I'm so enamored by the citrus in the opening that sometimes I tend to overlook that animalic component. The next fragrance though is a godsend. It is such an incredible fragrance. As a matter of fact, the perfumer who worked on this also worked on another fragrance from this list here. This fragrance has one of the classiest lavenders you'll ever smell. It has honey, it has beeswax, it has spices, it has woods, it has some floral ingredients to sort of tie everything together, make it a little bit more dis diffusive. This smells like pure elegance, in a bottle, very classy, very sophisticated. It almost also has a little bit of that old world charm about it. And the liquid in my bottle got so old, I'm really impressed. It's Sartorial by Penhaligans. Penhaligans has some really classy fragrances. Endymion is another one. And of course, even some of the more recent releases have been phenomenal as well. This is a fragrance that I picked up many years ago, composed by Bertrand Duchafour, who also did Lautus. Both are lavender based, both smell very, very different from one another. This is so chic and elegant and it's so well poised. The demeanor of it, just everything about it is like super classy. And just thinking about it, I wanna make it my scent of the day. I'm already actually wearing another classy fragrance, which is Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. That's my scent of the day, so I think wearing that fragrance kind of inspired me to make such a list. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this list. 10 fragrances for a true gentleman, super classy. If you have experience with any of these 10 fragrances, why don't you share your thoughts with me? Leave a comment down below. I always love the interaction. If you're new to this channel and you enjoyed this video or if you feel as though you learned something, if I gave you the opportunity to learn about a new fragrance, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.